Oklahoma, the Roughnecks are ready. Making noise in Norman, where it's normal for visitors to be bullied and beaten by the Sooners. It's been a month since the last home game, a month of agony, then ecstasy. But now the wait is over as unbeaten, confident Missouri invades tonight, hungry to end a drought here in Norman. Coming up, a peek at the preparations for Mizzou. We wire up the main man, Chase Daniel. Can he lead the Tigers to an upset tonight? On the eve of the BCS standings release, are the Bucks or the Bears the true number two and the top challenger to LSU? And how do this season's shockers stack up to history's all-time surprises? Which upsets will live forever? And will we have one here tonight? College game day, A-OK -okay at Oklahoma. For the first time in four years, a rare top 25 collision in the Sooner Nation. Well, we're coming to your city. Georgia trying to get on down to Florida for the game. And then we loaded. They joined the convoy on the freeway, headed north to see them Buckeyes of Notre Dame. Victory for USC. The Rogues parking at the Wolverines. Welcome home and give me that Rocky Top Tennessee. 32 down set. You love football, you know what's next. Locked on ESPN. Tell your family and friends to smile, of course, so in Herb Street. Got the low down on the rivalries. Buckle your chin strap, you pay to play. It's time to kick off college game day. Come out to your city. And if you want a little bang in your yin yang, if you want a little zing in your zang zang, if you want a little ting in your tang tang, come along. Come along. Yeah, we're coming. College Game Day is built by the Home Depot, proud sponsor of college football's premier pregame show. It is a war. Sunny Saturday in Big 12 country where suddenly the North Division has a little swagger and here comes Missouri highly ranked and undefeated into Norman but these folks they've seen that before an opponent come in here with high hopes only to be crushed by Bob Stoops sooner what will happen today here in Norman Chris Fowler Lee Corso Kirk Herbstreet Desmond Howard will join us our first visit here in four years first visit by a ranked opponent in four years get ask yourself in college football guys what could happen today after the past couple of weeks. You've been on a great run. We've seen Georgia, Alabama decided in the last play. Cal, Oregon right down to the wire. Last week, the epic Florida LSU has oh. been a great run. Did you see those games? <laughs> oh. well, let me tell you something. Oh. Four years ago when we were here was the last time that Oklahoma played a nationally ranked team in that stadium right there. And it was number 14th ranked Oklahoma State. And they beat them 52-9. to nine. Now, you believe in that? Omen stuff that yeah, oh, yeah. Stuff. Well, yeah. then it's Oklahoma pretty big today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? By the way, I'm there in spirit with you guys. <laughs> no. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying while I'm playing a <laughs> different game. You know, Bob Stoops, since going back to 1999, since he's been the head coach at Oklahoma, yeah. he's 50 and 2 no way. in this stadium. So when you come to Norman, you better be ready to roll because the Sooners are always ready to play at home. But is the 07 version like the 01, 02? Well, yeah. that remains to be seen. Yeah. For OU, though, it is another week, another big challenge. It's been a stretch of extremes. Two weeks ago in Boulder, they were in control of the game. Reggie Smith muffs a punt. Cody Hawkins with a touchdown pass. And then Kevin Eberhardt, the game-winning field goal. As time expires, Sooners stunt 27-24. Last week in Dallas, though, it was a tight game against the Longhorns. DeMarco Murray, the freshman, gallops for a touchdown. Sam Bradford, the redshirt freshman, very calm in his first Red River rivalry. OU wins it by seven. So now they come back home off that big. Today, it's one of the most important Big 12 games of the season. The undefeated Tigers of Missouri travel to Norman, Oklahoma to tackle Big 12 foe Oklahoma. Missouri QB Chase Daniel leads the high-powered Tiger offense. Touchdown, Tigers! Sooner sensation Sam Bradford is the top-rated QB in the nation. 
Oklahoma turning up the heat. It comes down to this. Can the Oklahoma defense stop this potent Missouri offense? Or will the Missouri defense silence the shock and awe of the Oklahoma Sooners? Oh, mama, what a hit. 11th ranked Missouri brings it to the 5th ranked Oklahoma Sooners next on FSN. It's homecoming weekend as the Sooners are back home for the first time in four weeks. College Football Saturday all presented by Kia Sara. And tonight, the 11th ranked Missouri Tigers take on number five Oklahoma in a huge Big 12 showdown. The second and goal at the four. Oklahoma trying to tie things up on what would be a 65-yard drive. Over the middle, touchdown. Joaquin Iglesias. Nice throw and catch this time by Sam Bradford. He's got Iglesias at the top of the screen. He's going to work across the back of the end zone here. And good shot. He clears the safety. And nice pinpoint pass by Sam Bradford to his, to his leading wide receiver. And on four turnovers, the Sooners got 17 points to their 26. And now it's going to be third to about 15. Pocket holds up better for Chase Daniel. And it's going to be picked up. DJ Wolf has it in the 30. Off to the left side. Will they get him? Spun around and put down. And that's by Derek Washington, the running back. DJ Wolf. Couple of picks in the Colorado game and gets one early tonight. Now, DJ Wolf moved from the cornerback spot to the middle of the field at strong safety. And he's done a great job for the Sooners in the secondary this season. Just playing the middle of the field here right now is Chase Daniel trying to find an open receiver. There's going to be Wolf on the left side. He's going to go underneath the receiver trying to get the ball deep. And he's not there. Can't get it to Jeremy Macklin. Excellent job by DJ Wolf making a play on the football. Just mentioned turnovers, didn't I, Gary? Uh, that's how. 28 yards on 17 carries last week. As you talk about the big day against Texas. The three or four in the third down tries. This is going to be a third and five. Too much time for Bradford. Wide open. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Tied in. Jermaine Gresham. Talk about the tight ends of this football game. And Oklahoma has a pair of good tight ends, too. Joe John Finley and now Jermaine Gresham, who had two touchdown catches a week ago against the, the Longhorns. Now one in this football game in the second quarter for, quarter for Oklahoma. Just working down the seam, gets behind the linebacker. And to throw he's got rucker and it's intercepted picked off by reggie smith who read it perfectly blockers coming the other way for smith on the gadget play and pulled down from behind so the turnover saunders on the tackle and a good short field now for oklahoma well jeremy macklin lined up at the quarterback here in the shotgun and he's going to come around and try to throw the football down the field but he does not see reggie smith who accounts for him the cornerback there who steps underneath this undercut to throw to martin rucker and Reggie Smith making another big play in the secondary for the Sooners. He's done that several times this season and over his career. And man, he's from Edmond Santa Fe High School here north of Oklahoma City. A local fan favorite, a guy who had a great high. Into this situation. Second and ten. Fake the reverse. Ton of time for Bradford. He'll go with Murray after the fake on the reverse. And it pays off. Murray making a miss. Breaks tackles. And he's inside the five first and goal. And I talked at the top of the show about tackling for Missouri going to be key in this football game. When they get up there and have an opportunity to bring down a, a speedy tailback like DeMarco Murray, 
Good job in the secondary first and foremost about covering everyone. He comes down to his check down here to Marco Murray in the flat and just making people miss. Can't come up and make miss tackles if you're a cornerback. You've got to be able to tackle and limit these contact and limit those catches to short games. And Marco Murray showing you that he can catch the ball out of the backfield and make a, make nice nice yardage there after the catch. So go with two tight ends on the same side. Over to the right side. In fact, trips over to the right side. Chris Brown, the single to the backfield. And throw the fade in the corner. Kelly just off his reach. And he uh, almost got his fingertips there. Uh, bring it in. It'll be second and goal. You know, on this drive, Joel, Missouri's defense has kind of been kind of a bend but don't break style defense, playing a lot of zone coverage. And so we'll take a look at Bradford here's Ooh. attempt to get it out there to Kelly. Almost there, just a little bit too far out, outside of his reach. He's started over the inside shoulder. It's over the outside shoulder. Otherwise, if he looks that way first, I think he gets it, Gary. It'll be second and goal. 9.34 left in the third. Chris Brown short side. He's in. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Now, point of attack blocking that time by the Sooners on the right side. Just overpowers the Missouri defense. Nobody even slows down Chris Brown anywhere. Just take a look at the right side. Watch Trent Williams, number 71, come around the outside. And the tight ends did a good job blocking. That's Brody Eldridge in there. And so Hoffman, 6'6", 245. He led the Big 12 tight ends in catches last year with 58. Give it on the reverse. There's a wall. Left side. Macklin's in. Touchdown, Missouri. They are back in the game. The reverse works with Jeremy Mack. Now comes to over to talk to Martin Rucker. Talk about a leader on the field, like a coach. Running in the option, Jackson finds a little crease. Bolts, he's in. Touchdown, Missouri. A lot of time left, but Mizzou a point away from taking the lead against the Sooners. Well, they just Number two, and he's been the spectacular big playmaker, so Brown has not seen that many snaps, but he's featured on this series. In the eye on first and goal, Brown left side, he's in. Oklahoma takes the lead. You know, a very workmanlike drive this time by the Sooners coming down the field and using the run game to help themselves out here in this series. And Sam Bradford being efficient, but Chris Brown get it done on the ground, and the big guys up front making some room for him. You got to believe they're going for two now. Only up by five. Trying to make it a seven-point game with 12.26 to play. And they will keep Bradford in the offense out there. So this could tell us a lot about the tail end of this game. Two-point conversion drive coming up for Oklahoma. Well, they ran it. Do they keep it on the ground? Tied in in front of Brown. Now they shift. Murray in the backfield instead Bradford back of the end zone deflected and it was available for Malcolm Kelly and knocked away by Van Alexander the linebacker did a good job of knocking that ball out so they couldn't catch it so Oklahoma responds doesn't get the two but still leads the Tigers by five cheer to, to combat this spread offense second and ten for Daniel and the Tigers trailing by five Will they give it? Yes, and they'll lose it. Macklin lost it. Lofton's got it. He's in. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Well, you got to make plays with people coming around the pocket. You got to just make sure of that handoff. And I'm not sure that Jeremy Macklin knew that he was going to get the football. I don't know if that was a read player, actually a fake design to him, but, but Lofton nonetheless does a good job of picking that football up and getting into the end zone for the Sooners. Huge play on a turnover to score by the defense. They're celebrating as the momentum has changed big time for the Sooners. Lead by 11. And Bradford stays out there. For another two-point try. 
somewhat uh, of a confused look from the Sooners quarterback. So disastrous series for Missouri. They run it successfully with Macklin going on the reverse. That time, poor exchange. And it will cost them six and potentially eight. Brown to the backfield. Out of the gun. It's knocked away as they went to the tight end. Jermaine. Now these guys could move. One of the best defensive units in the nation. Daniel in trouble and on his way down. English, second sack of the game, eighth of the year. Uh, we talked about getting Chase Daniel uncomfortable in the pocket. And this is exactly what happens. A three man rush here, move to the sideline. They bring one of the linebackers off the edge. And English there just taking an inside charge and working his way to the quarterback. Any O left for Missouri. Daniel has it deflected and intercepted. Kicked off after the deflection. Nick Harris on the takeaway, and that'll do it for the Tigers. Yeah, and that's kind of been the answer here, the story in this football game. The turnovers here by, by Missouri, just taken advantage of by Oklahoma. Last time out, they put the ball on the ground, and Lofton takes it into the end zone after a missed handoff there. Now a tip pass intercepted by Nick Harris. Chase Daniel trying to get the ball outside. The ball is tipped there underneath. Again, that's uh, the defensive end has been very active tonight for Oklahoma. Austin English getting that tip here that have helped them immensely. On third down, Brown breaks the tackle inside the 10. Touchdown, Oklahoma. One of the keys I talk about also is being able to tackle and tackle the runners here in this run game. And they didn't do that. You miss a tackle, that's Weatherspoon coming across. You got to make that contact and make that tackle. Otherwise, these things are going to happen to a defense. And believe it or not, I think that Missouri has played decent against the run here in this football game. But one snap and it's over. So Sam Bradford, the difference in the first half. And then Oklahoma starting to get their act together, and they had some balance, especially down the stretch. Yeah, and Sam Bradford was efficient with the football early in the ball game, kind of did things well, and they took advantage, though, Oklahoma did, of the turnovers that uh, Colorado committed, and that's exactly what happened in this football game, and it's kind of outlasted them at the end. So it turns out to be a 10 point win for the Sooners as. They were down, as I mentioned, minute to play third, 24-23 Missouri. Missouri did not hold up well down the stretch, but a learning experience for Chase Daniel and the Tigers, and especially on the road. For Gary Reasons, Emily Jones, our entire FSN crew, I'm Joel Myers. Thank you for joining us once again in Norman. Now, do not go anywhere. Our triple header continues. Washington takes on the number 13 team of the nation, Arizona State, in a good Pac-10 showdown. Thanks for joining us once again. Have a great weekend, everybody. Stick around for Pac-10. It's all coming your way on FSN College Football Saturday.